It all starts tonight. The playoffs are here. The play-in games are tonight. And the very first contest will be in New Orleans between the Pelicans and Lakers. The Lakers have absolutely dominated this matchup all season long. You expect them to continue that domination and secure the seventh seed in the Western Conference. Uh, I think the Lakers win. I'm going to give the Pelicans, uh, you know, the fighters chance, of course, and it's Zion's first playoff game. So I'm, I imagine he'll be revved up for it. You know, the Pelicans don't get a lot of these opportunities historically. So I think you get, you know, a, a good effort out of them. I don't think the Lakers blow them out. Uh, I know Anthony Davis has said he's going to play, but he's still listed yeah. as questionable as of uh, yesterday, I guess, after practice. So I, I do expect him to play as soft as uh, he is, like marshmallows. But I get a kick out of LeBron James because LeBron James is like, the only thing I care about is winning championships. Nothing else matters. And I'm remembering only a few months ago, dude spraying champagne in the locker room oh, when oh. they won the midseason tournament. Yeah. Midseason tournament right? championship. Midseason that was championship. Mid like, championship. Midseason tournament. The first championship. Like, yeah. The that's championship. A, that's a championship. You don't want him to pop champagne? That's a championship. Now, now we hate champagne that's a championships. Chip. I got to ask my man who played in the NBA. Would you celebrate a midseason tournament by spraying champagne on dudes? No, we. Thank you. The Celtics, we only hang championship banners. That's Bang! Right. That's exactly right. <laughs> That's right. Lay it out there, Eddie House. Look, I, I, I'm excited because I'm a basketball fan like you guys are. Uh, I'm trying to figure out a way for New Orleans to win this game, and I'm, I can't. Uh, I, I, look, I give them. I'm glad they made it. You know, it's a major step forward. I'd like to see Zion in big games because, you know, the kid had the best year of his career from a standpoint of health, and he played in more games this year than any of the year of his, what now, four-year career. So I think it's good for the league when a guy like Zion is playing high-level basketball, which, when healthy, he typically has. The question for him, of course, has been his weight and his health. So I, the only thing I'll say is this. The, the Lakers, as you said, rightfully so, have owned the Pelicans. We so have the numbers. They, Take a look. You want to throw it up there? Go ahead. Yeah. So from a standpoint of competitive balance, everything favors the LA Lakers. Yeah. And I get that. And I'm with you on that. But don't discount the fact that the NBA has always been a stars league. And on any given night, a star can show up and show out and take control of a ball game. Now, I'm not suggesting that the Lakers are going to lose this game. I don't think they will. The only caveat I'll give you is Zion has the potential and has the ability to take over a game. All right? So does AD. So does LeBron, obviously. So the only fighter's chance I give the Pelicans tonight would be if Zion goes off. And we've never seen him in the playoffs, and maybe he's going to start, you know, kind of building that playoff resume tonight in a manner that we look back 10 years from now and go, wow, it all started that playing game in 2024 when he scored 45 and led the Pelicans to a win. Outside of that, I don't think they can win the game. Well, I, I say the only chance I give the Pelicans is they have to turn the Lakers over and they got to play with pace. They got to play fast. Got to go. They, got, they have to, but I don't see that, that happening. And I think if you're, if you're the Lakers, there's a, a way you can defend Zion. So the idea is... That as soon as he gets the rock, a guy's in his you face. You gotta be there. You gotta so be not, there. Don't let him get set up. A lot of teams, because he sh doesn't shoot the ball particularly well from three, they like, like to sag off and give him what we call the dare shot, right? Sure. And when he does that, he just takes that space up. And now he's coming at you full speed. They're Good trained. luck with that. Right. Yeah. So right, you put right. pressure on him and you make him a playmaker, and, and, and he's not great at so that. So who on the Lakers would you have guard him? That's the question, because I don't know if there is somebody on the Lakers that could guard him how. Jalen Brown did. Jalen Brown's right. strong. Jalen Brown's long, athletic, and, and quick. I don't know if Austin Reeves is strong enough. Yeah, I don't know if Vanderbilt's he's at, hurt. Vanderbilt is hurt, yeah, but yeah, yeah. he might Rui. be a little light in the, you yeah, know. Yeah. So right. <laughs> <laughs> he might be a little bit light, but I, you have to, you have to, you have to put some pressure on him. You have Got to it. turn him into a playmaker. Otherwise, he's going to eat and live around. I shouldn't have said that. It's like all right. That. It's all good. It's all good. Yeah, he loves to eat. He's it going, is, he's going to eat so much and be around the rim all day. <laughs> Look, you're not the only one. Remember when they threw that chicken wing on the court the other day? Man. The cameraman man went right to Zion Ain't to see if he wanted to grab it and start eating. What's worse, they caught him licking his lips when he saw it. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be honest. I was licking my lips, too, to be honest with you. Uh, looking forward to that matchup. Obviously, two games tonight, two games tomorrow. You get the West tonight. We get the East tomorrow night. Uh, real quick, just since we're on the NBA and Eddie's here, uh, I decided to have a little fun, okay, because there's been uh, a lot of online debate 
about some things that were said on this show yesterday. So I'm going to play a little game with you guys called Am I a Hall of Famer? <laughs> All right? What's the jacket and tie? I would not buy insurance from you. <laughs> By the way, if you put that back up, I look like Bob McAdoo <laughs> at, at his Giants <laughs> press conference. That jacket don't fit. All right, so the game is called Am I a Hall of Famer? I'm going to give you some stats of this particular person, and I want you guys to tell me without knowing who the person is, does this warrant a uh, Hall of Fame consideration? When my contract ends, I will have made essentially half a billion dollars. I've made the playoffs less than half of my total years in the NBA. I've only gotten past the first round of the playoffs three times. And when it comes to my ability to stay on the court, I've played more than 62 games once in the last six years. Is that Hall of Fame worthy Eddie House? No way. No way. Is that Hall of Fame worthy William Cologne? I don't look like I it. think I know who that is. <laughs> I, I think I know who that is. That's why I'm not asking you, Jacoby. <laughs> All right? And here's my point from yesterday. That guy is Anthony Davis. Yes. No. And that's my point when I said yesterday, he's the most overrated superstar in the game. Those things right there, outside of the money, he's getting paid like a Hall of Famer, making half a billion dollars, but everything else is not a Hall of Fame worthy resume. I can't roll with you on that because if you look at his stats, his numbers, yeah. Yeah. he does have Hall of Fame numbers. Yeah. Now, you, you nitpicked and pulled out the perfect scenario. You, cherry picked, My man. you did do that. Thank you. A great job. Do. Great Thank job by that, that, by Eddie. the way. But his number screen. His number, you look at what he does for a career as yeah. far as numbers, uh -huh. that's definitely Hall of Fame. 60 numbers. games once in the last six years. That's the guy I want on my team. Yeah, that's the guy you can count on to play throughout the season. That's the guy you count on showing up in a big spot, Willie. And they need him in the, in the worst way because right now you talked about Austin Reeves. Like, he's their only big-time perimeter player. And then LeBron right now, Valley, he's averaging 28 points in the last few games. They need AD, right? Like, I, listen, I have the Lakers going past this. All, all I, I see them going against the Nuggets. Overall, man, I just I just want AD to just stay healthy. Well, that's like, the key thing, and he's not healthy. He hurt his back uh, a couple days ago. I will say this. He has said, I am playing in tonight's game, but they do list him as questionable. So, game time decision for Mr. Stay Puff. We'll see how it goes. Stay Puff. And I'll tell you what, if he doesn't play, or if that back really is a problem, gives the Pelicans a better shot to win this game and pull off the upset. Hey there, thank you so much for watching The Carton Show. You can subscribe right here to get all the latest bits and segments from the show. And by the way, while you're at it, we have a lot of great shows on FS1, so check them out too.